Hey guys, we are here in my living room, dining room, talking about research papers, and this is the first video that I'm going to send to you. So if you get out your folder, and I'm going to apologize early for children running around or acting like little goobers, but we're going to talk about how to do your research paper if you've already got your folder. Uh, if you've got your folder, if you want to open it up, uh, there's a whole bunch of papers in there. Uh, the first one that you need to pay attention to is your checkpoints. Research paper 2020 checkpoints. Their dates are different from last year. I've already heard that. So uh, we're not going to the library. I'm not going to um, take a points for your student parent contract because you're sitting at home with your parents. So, yeah. Uh, just notice all the dates. They are on proxy already. Notice that when note cards are due, the 50 note cards are due for 7th and 8th graders. 75 will be uh, due for 9th and 10th. And uh, there will be 90 note cards due for 11th uh, and 12th. Now, those are split into three different groups. So, on fr April 8th, the 7th and 8th graders will be need to have turned in 15 note cards uh, on April 15th the 7th and 8th graders have to turn in 15 more and then on April 22nd you should have all 50 done so that would be another 20 uh, if you have questions just email me or we can do like a zoom chat or something if you've got friends that can also do it or uh, do the zoom we can do that all together uh, so those are your uh, checkpoints. Like I said, they're also on proxy. If you have questions, uh, send them to me. Uh, your research paper, we're going to talk about the topic. Research papers um, are not a report. You cannot just pick George Washington and decide, hey, I'm going to see if he really did chew an apple or whatever. You have to pick something that has an argument to it and pick another, pick one of the two sides and argue your point using three major points of reference. So I could pick something like, is hate speech really um, freedom of speech? And you could do something like that. I mean, you can, there's so many things you could talk about right now. Um, just look up Ben Shapiro or Louder with Crowder and uh, you'll be able to figure something out. Matt Walsh, they're always talking about uh, things. The seatbelt law, personal responsibility. So many things you could do. You have to pick a side and then argue that side of the, that that's their basis for the paper. And then you would write a thesis statement. This research paper intends to prove something. Um, so that's what's due first is your topic. And I believe that is due on uh, Wednesday the 25th. Of, uh, I believe I what I moved that to. Um, or Tuesday the 24th. I don't remember what I moved it to. It's on proxy. Don't worry. It's on proxy. Um, we're not going to the library, but you can check out books from the library still with your library card. Uh, they are doing a curbside pickup right now. So you can order up to four books, which is good because you only need three. Uh, and you can do all your other research online using the Councilist website, Councilist Library website. All you have to have is a no library card with a pin number, and you can check out uh, for up to four books and then drive up and get them. They'll be in a plastic bag. They'll bring them out to you, or you'll go in, whatever. Um, but they're allowing you to hold, play, check out and hold four books and then go pick them up. Uh, the library website also will have all of your reference materials, all of your magazine periodicals, and then you can just get on YouTube and look for the other um, videos for your non-print source. Remember, you need to have three books, uh, two periodical, or I'm sorry, three periodicals. Now I can't even remember. Let me find my work here. Let me find my contract. Um, there they are. There it is. So you are required to have three books, two reference materials. Two reference materials are um, an encyclopedia, a dictionary, a thesaurus, an atlas, the Bible, which was a great source. Um, two periodicals. Periodicals are magazines, newspapers, medical journals, uh, psychology journals, all sorts of things of that nature. Two non-print sources. That is a video, a movie, a documentary, something that you're watching that you're taking notes about. And you need to have one interview. Now, your interview is probably not going to be in person this year. 
unfortunately. And so that you will need to make sure that you find someone that you can email, interview, and have your 10 questions. That is a checkpoint. So make sure that you are, uh, you're not limited to 10 sources, but you need to make sure you find three books. You can also check them out via ebook at the library website. You're gonna be using the library website like none other, okay? So um, make sure that when, uh, we'll get to how you do note cards later. If you have any questions on how to pick a topic. Now, on back to the topics, sorry. Uh, you cannot do a topic as big as abortion, creation versus evolution, or uh, homosexuality. You can pick facets, you can pick facets of that. You can, so if you wanted to pick something in the abortion realm, you could say like third trimester abortions. It's just such a broad, such a huge, subject that you it's more it's going to take more you'll be overwhelmed with information so preferably you just don't pick anything in those three because it's so big but on the homosexuality front if you pick something like uh uh foster parenting in that or uh you know same-sex couple uh adoption that would be a is it right or is it wrong whatever uh so that's what you need to Okay, that's what you need to look up. You need to find a topic that is somewhat, not somewhat controversial, but there's two sides to it. Okay, uh, I will put this on and if you have questions, let me know.